Hi everyone, my name is Scott Legere Horn and this is The Short Call. Today we're going to talk about three strategies to help build your endurance. Just like expanding your high and low register or learning how to lip trill, building endurance is a slow and disciplined process. So in order to get the most out of these tips, I suggest starting a practice journal so that you can meticulously monitor when you're practicing and for how long. The first tip for building endurance is to systematically increase the amount of time you're playing the horn every day. I mean, it makes sense. If you want to play more without getting tired, then you should play more to build up your muscles. But you can't just wake up and start practicing four hours a day if yesterday you were only practicing one. Endurance is built in ebbs and flows, so in a given week, add 15 to 30 minutes of total practice time each day for four days. But then, and this is the important part, subtract 15 to 30 minutes in the last three. You can start this process from however long you already practice, but essentially the idea is that you're going to be adding one extra day of practice by spreading it out over periods of extra work and rest. But that's on the long term. A more middle term approach is to expand the length of each practice session throughout the day. Everyone has their own methods, but for me, I generally only like to practice 20 minutes before I take a break of at least five to 10 minutes. These sessions are just long enough for me to work on one issue with focused practice without getting too tired to play the rest of the day. But if I specifically want to build endurance, I might expand that 20 minute session to about 40 minutes without taking a longer break. This not only helps me build physical endurance, but will improve my mental focus as well. And finally, on the smallest scale, you want to systematically increase the amount of time you keep the horn on your face. Effectively, this means adding more long tones to your warm-up, but there are a variety of exercises that you can use to accomplish this. Here's just one of my favorites from the Stanley routine. Notice how there are breath marks every four measures, but none of them are long enough for you to take the horn off your face and reset. You can adjust this exercise by increasing the tempo or playing only a few lines if your endurance isn't quite ready to play the entire thing, but the idea is to have something that keeps your air moving and keeps you playing. This kind of work requires a lot of patience and discipline, and like with any physical exercise, it's important to monitor how your body feels while you're working out. Start a practice journal and systematically map out your practice sessions so that you can start to build the strength to play longer while keeping your best sound. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and follow Scott Legere Horn for more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing.